Hello, my name is Moses Ross Suarez. I am an artist and I'm here at the Goldwing Art Gallery where I have a solo exhibition titled Joyfully Present in Our Dual Cultures, Divitando de Nuestras Dos Culturas. It's here uh, in Washington Heights at the Hebrew Tabernacle and I'm happy to share with you on a tour about the work and what it means uh, this show was put together and curated by uh, uh, Regina Gratis, and she uh, wanted to talk about the Dominican culture and the American culture coexisting together in harmony, and she selected these works that reflect that feeling and the sentiment to everyone, uh, and I'm hoping that you'll enjoy this little tour. I have also a catalog for the show, and which I'm going to, you know, uh, has pictures and some poems by the uh, um, poet um, Ellery uh, Castillo and she did uh, a, a couple of uh, poems here that were uh, talk about culture and about the work and, and her inspiration from seeing the exhibition. So I'm hoping that you'll enjoy and I'll get started. Thank you. I'm going to start off with my mobiles and they are right here and um, the, this one is called uh, Angels and it has a human head with an, uh, a body of either a lion or a, a bull and then uh, re represents work or effort and then from that comes freedom which is represented by the wings. And then I have a pair, a female and a male, and they sort of just move with the breeze. And as you can see, uh, these are uh, linoleum prints that have been made into what I call the printed sculpture. This uh, mobile is titled Taino Vivo. The Tainos were the original inhabitants of Quisqueya, also known as Española, where the Dominican Republic and Haiti share the island now. And um, this is to bring back the spirit of, of those uh, natives uh, who originally inhabited the island and is based on artifacts from the Tainos that I incorporated into this piece. In this piece, uh, this print uh, on a holographic paper, uh, which is, um, it says on a Provincia 32, Nueva York, Republica Dominicana, or the translation would be uh, Province 32, uh, New York, uh, Dominican Republic, is about the, the uh, talking about uh, how many um, of the uh, Dominicans are in New York City. I mean, they, they, uh, New York has the second largest population after the capital of Santo Domingo, here right here in New York. So uh, what I turned uh, I turned uh, New York into a province of the Dominican Republic, and that's what uh, this one. And so it has the holographic paper to, to give it that life and that movement to it, which I enjoy bringing to my work. And this work, a woodcut of a domino piece titled uh, Dominion Centurio, uh, depicts uh, the, the pastime of Dominicans of dominoes. So I have this 12 um, piece that has these silhouettes of uh, the members from the artist collective uh, called Dominican York Progetto Grafica, a uh, printmaking collective. And I show the duality of the skyscraper and the palm trees so of the two cultures sort of uh, intertwined together in this uh, very popular pastime of Dominicans here in New York and in the island. In this woodcut, uh, based on the Dominican flag, titled Sueños de Puerto Plata, or Dreams of Puerto Plata, a region in the north of the Dominican Republic that has beautiful beaches and scenery, I depict the, a heart in the middle of the flag and then some scenic uh, views of, of the island so that uh, it expresses that, that nostalgia for being back on the island. In this next piece, uh, I make a tribute to my grandparents. It includes a Dominican uh, emblem, 
and also pictures of my grandparents in the house where they lived. Also a poem of the tragedy that they went through at that time when my family was attacked and the house was burned down. So it's titled Honoring My Grandparents, and this is a tribute to that. This piece titled Mi Alma, My Soul, um, has uh, a pair of hands and butterfly wings in the center, which represent um, sort of your own, my destiny or manifesting my own destiny. Uh, and it has some sayings in it, like Yo soy el capitán de mi alma is one of them, and the captain of my soul. And it's about being uh, having self-determination to uh, become uh, happy and successful in life and to be determined in doing that. This piece titled Left and Right is of a two-headed figure dancing on a bridge. It represents a person who is trying to live in their new adopted land, but also yearning to be in their homeland. So they are of two minds. It's a technique of uh, etching in aquatint with chincole. And this is, uh, chincole means glued paper, and you put it to the press as you print it and glue it to another paper. So. This is a very uh, interesting piece, and I really like this one. It's one of my favorites. This piece, titled Dominicanidad, is a painting over a section of a map of Washington Heights, uh, representing the Dominican presence in New York City and the positive uh, influences that they bring to the culture. And where, in the top there, you see that cloud in the shape of, of the island of Quisqueya, and they're trying to achieve something of importance and of new heights here in their new adopted homeland. This silk screen titled Belotero, Great Catch, is of the sport of baseball, which Dominicans love. Here, the player is doing a diving catch and breaking out of the frame uh, to excel, as Dominicans excel in baseball in the United States. This woodcut print called Musica represents music in New York City. Dominican music, merengue, bachata, bolero, joyful music from the Dominican culture. And that's why I use all these different colors to bring that joy out in this piece. In these two pieces, um, they are woodcuts that have been hand colored. Uh, the one on the left is called Merengosa and the one on the right is called Periqui. In Meringosa, she's wearing a headscarf, but also she's wearing a baseball cap. She's wearing jeans, but also has a skirt. And then a, a sneaker on one foot, but then a, a slipper on the other. So this is talking about the dual cultures. Radio in one hand, and then uh, Guida in the other. In Periqui, he's holding a drum in one hand and a cell phone in the other. He has a straw hat, but he's also wearing a tie. So in one foot it's a boot and the other one is a shoe. So this is talking about the du dualities that are existing in the two cultures coexisting like a salad. They are living together and absorbing the different parts of the culture, adapting new parts and also keeping the old parts. This linoleum print cut into a sculpture is a printed sculpture. The title is Pi and it is of a, a big uh, Pac-Man with a giant tongue, all consuming. It has also a head on top with the flames coming out of its mouth. This addresses our society of overconsumption. This exhibition, Joyfully Present in Adult Cultures, has a catalog to the show, which also has the uh, poems from Eldry Castillo, included in it as well. As you can see here, they are displayed in the exhibition. So um, I'm very happy that this includes all the artworks, plus the poetry and the mobiles so that um, it can be uh, kept as a nice document of this exhibition here at the Goldwing Art Gallery at the Hebrew Tabernacle in Washington Heights.